Hey, how you doing? I'm Brandon, and this is episode one of Cooking with Brando. <laughs> Almost forgot the name. Uh, today we're going to do pork shoulder because it's easy, it's good, it gives you a lot of leftovers. Let's get into it. First thing you need to do is generously salt the pork overnight. This will make it taste better by allowing the salt to get deep inside the meat. I'm using this Himalayan pink salt, which I found in a burnt out apartment building in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, anyway, I'd recommend kosher salt because it's less chunky, so it'll create a more uniform layer. Now thank Gordon Ramsay for this one. When you get to the skin side, cut a crisscross pattern into it with a knife. This will let the salt actually get in there and will give you little bite-sized pieces of crispy skin later. Just wait and see. When you're done, wrap it up and put it in the fridge overnight. The following morning, take it out, let it come to room temperature, and preheat the oven to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. At this point, I stabbed cloves into the shoulder, which really didn't do much to be honest, so you don't have to. Then you're going to let it bake for 8 hours. After about 7 hours, it'll look something like this. When there's about a half hour left, crank the heat up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit and begin rotating the shoulder so the skin gets nice and crispy. Be sure to buy gloves or share the same fate as me. Ah. Ah. Jesus. Yeah. And that's why you buy some fucking gloves. God damn. These towels, they're killing me. Yeah, that really sucked. When you see crispy skin, take it out and let it cool for 15 to 30 minutes. There. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful and out of frame? It was, And it's so easy to make. I mean, really, we barely did anything you know for these past eight hours and the prep work and there's nicole making some brussels sprouts they uh they sucked by the way <laughs> so yeah at this point you're pretty much done basically carve into it it's it's gonna be delicious and it's gonna be really crunchy too here listen to this crunch boom so cut into it any way you want. There's no wrong way and I'd recommend eating a lot of skin now because it gets chewy in the fridge. Speaking of the fridge, you're going to have a lot of great leftovers. Maybe you'll make split peas and pork or just warm it up in the microwave. Or, like me, you'll make a pork, egg, and cheese on a bagel. 